I sat down with Dr. Marty Polio to talk all things school safety, but with several guns found in JCPS just this semester, I asked him what it's going to take to keep them out of schools. We really, as a community and as a nation, are going to need to dig into, you know, the um, absolute access to guns in our, com in our community and our children having access to those guns. Record-breaking homicide in the metro. More than 20 children have been killed this year due to raging gun violence, including 16-year-old JCPS student Tyree Smith at his bus stop. His alleged killers, also teenagers. Superintendent Marty Polio feels the effects of what's happening outside, inside the school walls. And we have to ask ourselves once again, you know, how is a sixth grader, how is an 11 or 12 year old getting access to a handgun? Um, and unfortunately, you know, why are, the, you know, the schools are having to be responsible for this mitigation. And so, yes, we have to take steps, but we also got to look at the problem with that. According to data from JCPS, nearly 40 guns were found in schools from 2019 to 2021. While the numbers aren't necessarily higher compared to previous years, there's still much concern. Polio says he has looked nationwide for an innovative safety approach, understanding many students don't feel comfortable with armed, uniformed officers in schools. His proposal school safety administrators. We want them focusing their entire time on safety, security issues, threat assessments. Social media has become such a challenge for schools. Savion Briggs is a 2020 graduate of Butler yeah, High School. He says he doesn't support school resource um, officers absolutely. in the schools but either. The if they put these um, police officers or uh, uh, school resource officers into these schools that make schools unsafe as well. When I asked Briggs about guns in schools, he admitted it wasn't rare to hear someone bringing one, whether they were caught or not. It's been cases where um, my classmates or peers brought guns to school, but they didn't bring it to school with the intention to shoot up a school. You know, you got to think some of the neighborhoods that we are from, um, it's just some of the things that we grow up around. We, have, we come from. In 2022, Polio will prepare to hear public comments on his proposed safety plan, which includes the school safety administrators and regional school resource officers who would not be inside schools on a daily basis. Our school safety officers would be regionally based. So, you know, it may be where we sit right now. It may be, you know, uh, uh, that officer would have Atherton High School, Highland Middle School, Hawthorne Elementary School Bloom, just to give an example, five or six elementary and middle and high in the area and would work that and they would essentially be assigned to those schools. The goal is for school safety administrators to communicate closely with school resource officers when they see a threat that may need the help of an officer. But most importantly, he wants to make sure students and parents are weighing in. We do want this to be a decision that, that we bring that has been clearly vetted through the community that everyone understands it and knows this is where this is how we're moving forward during difficult times um, and we can bring a recommendation to our board maybe not everyone fully agreeing but at least we've heard from the community on it Carrie Grace WLKY News